Patricio, the pacemaker in front. Russo, where he's been all the time, just a stride behind. Herman Silva has uh, dropped back a little bit. Vice winner of the New York Marathon. I can't see uh, Eamon Martin. Uh, there he is. just off the back. Beginning to labour a little there, uh, Eamon, after 44 minutes of running. And they're going at a very, very fast. In these conditions, Eamon's never been great at running in the heat. And there's Paul Evans, who's obviously taking on board as much water as he can internally and is pouring as much water on himself as he can but Paul is in good form for this marathon really wants to be competitive wants to be the top Britain but also is desperately keen to try and win the London Marathon he's in amongst them in that group exactly where he needs to be also in that leading group Letitia the Canyon Kafiga, also of Kenya, number 32. Benson Masher, the Kenyan, 28. Kenyans there in numbers. And they recently dominated the Boston Marathon. 19 Kenyans started in that race, and they finished one, two, three in the end. That's right, and there they are. Split times and kilometers for the European athletes who are much more used to that. We British who are used to counting the old 26 miles in this equal segments. There are the mile times, 450, 457, 459, 444, and that's the slightly downhill one, and then 455. So the overall pace, well on schedule for two hours, eight minutes. And they know they're in a race, these runners. They know it's going to be tough in the second part of the race, and all the big names are there. Russo, Hellebuck, his teammate from Belgium. Domingos Castro in fourth place. And just behind them, last year's winner, Denisio Serron. All the leaders in the men's race. Patricio running a very even pace. Russo in second place. I mean, that's good pace making, Brennan. 450, 459, 444, taking into account the gradients. 454, 455. It's excellent pace making. But he's a good good runner. In a 10 miles in 48, 38. And there's a big group of athletes there. But they're doing, they're working hard for 48, 38. These are in perfect conditions, but some of these athletes have trained overseas, trained in the warm weather. They know what it's like running in conditions like this, and they're all there. Russo, Siron, Castro, and the only Briton in that leading group, as I can see, is Paul Evans. Eamon Martin's finding it very, very hard indeed. Brendan made the point earlier that he doesn't like uh, warm weather, and it's showing. And they went off, Eamon went to that pace, which I would think is a little bit too quick for him these days. Eamon's 37 and a half, and he's a great inspiration for those distant runners who stay on beyond the age of 30. But, um, well, he won the London Marathon a couple of years ago, but I don't think he's going to do that today. And there's Paul Evans, Britain's leading contender now finished second in the New York Marathon behind Herman Silva who's just up there ahead of him there number three Herman Silva relaxing his arms looking over his shoulder and he sees his teammate Denisio Serron and then Domingos Castro ahead of him then Eddie Hellebuck of Belgium then Vincent Russo of Belgium who for a man who hates running in warm conditions he's not doing a bad job today on the 10 mile marker in the men's race 48 uh, 39 that is quick round right, two hours seven 
Oh, 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 in the second half of the women's race, but that dramatic change that I'm expecting hasn't started happening yet. We're trying to get a check in the women's race on the gap between the leader and the main pack led by McColgan. Eleven miles for the men's race, 53-32. 4.54 for the last mile. Again, remarkable even pace. 